Fashion Police Council of Fashion Designers of America 2023 event. You know, I might not like Kim Kardashian, but I like this Chrome Hearts look. It is very cute. The slight subtleties and like pattern in how the crosses reflect is very pretty. And I really like the buttons, but I don't like that strap. I wish it would have like buttoned all the way up. The strap just, it, it doesn't look good in my opinion. But I do like the neck thing and her hair is giving like dark haired Pamela Anderson vibes, which goes with the theme because the theme is iconic. This man is rocking Adidas. I do like the color of this suit though. Satin or silk suit with Adidas sneakers. Okay. She can do better than this. I feel like this outfit's too old for her. Like, I feel like this is an outfit for a woman, like, in the 70s, like, in, in her 70s, and this woman's, like, 40s, 50s. I don't know what the significance towards this outfit by Amrata being iconic, but her hair is really pretty. It's like a green, very faint green color, I think. I like her bracelet, though. Really cute. This is giving deconstructed version of the dress this could have been. Which, if that was what they were going for, they nailed it. But iconic, I've never seen this before. It looks like someone didn't know where to put fur. This would have looked better without the old-timey, like, whatever those two spots are. Like, it's three pieces of material. It should be, it should be one. It would look so much better, but then it would be plain. I just don't think it's giving iconic. I think it's giving timeless. But this is a Rothschild, so. And there's the goth version. Someone's gonna have to tell me the significance of these skirts that are happening, okay? Because this man's wearing one and little Yabby's wearing one. She should have worn a different color. Like, I don't wear colors that are close in my skin tone for this reason right here. Also, whoever shot this from like a whatever angle did not do her any favors with the shadow on her chin. Looking like Natalie Nunn because of a shadow. I actually like Emma's dress. I don't know if it fits like the timeless look, but like it's something better than most of the ones we're gonna see in this video. I like her eye makeup too. I think it's really cute. La Roche is not wearing pants, but you know, he always has Zendaya snatched. So yes, La Roche. I also like the fact he has an L on his tie. That's pretty cool. He needs to also preserve his hair length instead of just trying to get it as long as possible because that's like breakage. It should be, to keep it healthy, it should be cut like right there, you know? That's all wishing. What is iconic about this? The tied up parts look like tied up drapes, like curtains. That's not giving her enough of a snatched look. Her foundation looks great, but back to the fashion. I like the dress. I mean, it's not the worst. It's not knock me off my feet either. I don't know if I like her better brown hair or blonde hair. Shoulder pads. That's, that's what I get from this outfit, but it's giving a more sophisticated version of what Gwyneth Paltrow is wearing to this, and you'll see that next. But I do like the shoes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this outfit. It's just very basic, formal, elegant, and it isn't like, oh, that's iconic, you know? Like the theme. Gwyneth Paltrow's got color in her face. I can't tell if it's color in her face or if it's just contrast from the dark clothing she's wearing, but I mean, this isn't bad. It looks really formal. I mean, isn't iconic, but it is her signature look. Her tennis bracelet's cute and the messy hair I like. Iconic? Maybe not. What is up with all of them wearing black? I thought the theme was iconic. That's what I read it was. The coach promo, the coach PR with the bag, Lil Yachty in a skirt, and one sock has stripes. I don't know why everyone's wearing skirts. Power to her because I would feel so exposed. It is beautiful. It is show-stopping. But every time I walked, every time my leg right there, if I felt a breeze, oh my goodness, I'd think my hoo-ha was showing, you know? This fits her personality, but I don't get the big, like, orange, white, and red blob. I think they're supposed to be flowers, but, like, I don't get it. I like that the bracelet matches the part of the dress right here. Is this iconic? I don't know. She could have done better. What is this? Okay, between these two dresses, I like hers a lot more than I like Aisha's. This looks like 
someone knitted this. And it looks like two eyes and an open mouth where like her stomach is. This kind of looks like coral, but it's like really, I, I like it. Pamela Anderson hair, check. Love the jewelry, but the dress seems kind of like she could get, she could have gotten it off of Sheen. Iconic, 50-50 in my opinion. What is this? I don't know how this is iconic. I think she just wanted to wear this dress. Okay, I really like this one. I think this is like an iconic silhouette for a dress. You know, it gives me London Perry vibes. It's like in the same category as this one. Like, this is giving me London Perry or iconic vibes. I love this. And the big hat, and whatever these are, it's perfect. And her pose, the oversized shawl, yes. I actually like this. I, I really do. We're get, seeing a lot of gloves at these, like, events. Kim Kardashian's glove-wearing days might have caused a trend. I love the oversized arms again, and I love the detailing, the little silver detailing, and the sequins. It's just so cute. That necklace is to die for. I'm just not a big fan of the bandana print for the top, but, like, I like this outfit from the side because I saw this picture originally and she was holding the train and I was like, oh, I love that. I like this pattern right here. But then look at it head on and it looks like it's a bandana type print. And then these look like clouds and I'm like, denim color, like what is this? But that necklace, iconic. 